When many Australians think of bees, they think of the black and yellow striped variety. But there's other tiny little warriors out there, native to Australia, that I'm so passionate about. Now I'm on a mission to educate, inspire, excite and create awareness to the young and old about the importance and magic of Australian native bees. Today we're at Crown Street Public School where they take a real hands-on approach to how they teach their kids about nature and food. It's not all about coals and woolies. Crown Street School has created a kitchen to garden program which allows the kids to get hands-on experience to learn where their food comes from. Plus, they get to see their native bees pollinating the plants, which helps teach them about the food cycle and how bees play a crucial role. So we're out here in the garden and we've got the kids behind us working. They're doing some pruning, doing a little bit of weeding. We're going to be doing some planting as well. They're all gloved up and they're ready to go. So guys, what are you planting today? Uh, we're planting sage. Sage, cool. And so what, it, what how, how deep do you have to make the hole? Um, as deep as that. As deep as that. So do we need to dig it a little bit deeper? Yeah. Cool. Good job, Pearl. I love it. That's really cool. The Kitchen to Garden program couldn't operate without the tireless effort of volunteers like Ange, who gives her time to the community to help educate the kids. So the school actually just recently purchased some native beehives. Can you tell me how that all fits in with what you're trying to establish with the kitchen garden program? When talking to the children, they didn't really understand how critical bees were in the life cycle. So we needed to have bees, be able to visit bees, understand yep. you know, how far they go from the hive and all those different things, and how they pollinate the garden and, and how quickly, and, and how slowly those things happen, yes. you, you know. So the whole life cycle of plants, it takes time. Yep. So we're planting in the garden, we're watering the garden, they're growing the plants, you, you know, they're turning into fruit or they're turning into vegetables, yes. and they're being fertilised as part of that process by the bees. And so that's the whole cycle, and then turning that fruit or food, that, whether it be vegetables or fruit, into uh, meals. Do you find that the kids are more interested in what you're growing because they can actually oh, taste it now? Totally, there's stuff in the garden that normally kids would not eat. So they're eating different fruit and vegetables because of what they're learning in the garden. What are these that we've grown, Lyric? Um, eggplant. It's an eggplant. I've never tried one. You though. haven't tried one? Well, that'll be something that you can do, hey. And so this is the first pear that Crown Street School has got. So it's really cool, isn't it? And you look after it? Yes. Great job. What's the best part of gardening? Planting. Planting? And do you like do you like weeding as well? Yes. Yeah? We were just chopping up. Chopping stuff? Yeah. Chopping we were just all chop, 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 chop. Yeah, because there was lots of weeds. Lots of weeds. Can anybody tell me a fun fact about the bees? They don't sting you. They eat the pollen. Honey. Yes, well done. Do you like having the bees? Yes. So Craig, you're the principal of this beautiful school. Can you tell me how the bees have impacted your school and the wider community? Oh, Melissa, that is such an easy question. I think the one thing that we acknowledge is that the bees have created this kind of buzz over the school. Love it. So you're really looking at this idea that it's given us the opportunity to talk about a native insect. Yes plant out our gardens with native plants. Which is what you've done. Yep, and then place two to three hives on the school site, but we now have neighbouring beehives with our neighbours, so we've actually created this nice environment where the bees are actually happy and alive. Well, that's it for today. Thanks very much to Crown Street School and my beautiful helpers. Stay tuned for more Sydney Stingless Bees adventures. If you want to learn more about Australian native bees, be sure to subscribe and check out our other episodes. <laughs>